Jean asked me, the power of healing. How is everybody doing? I hope well, as usual. Um, I love you. I pray for you. I hope you had a great day. Um, I think I'm going to change my video day to hump day on Wednesdays because I thought Mondays would be perfect because you know I have church on Sunday and we don't really do anything on Sunday after because you know, we rest on the Lord's Day. But it's not working out like I thought. Um, my schedule, I'm getting the kinks out. So hump day, Wednesday, it'll be up by, eight, I want to say, 8 o'clock. 8 p.m. hump day every Wednesday, sometimes sooner. Okay? So, um, and as far as the giveaway, the Bath and Body, um, I have to check with YouTube. Uh, because even though I'm not playing the music, it's still a copyright. Because I'm singing a version of their music. So... Um, or whatever. I gotta check with uh, the legal department, so, because I don't want to strike. So, uh, I'll get back with you on that today, uh, tomorrow, rather, hopefully. I'm gonna uh, get on that in the morning and see if I'm allowed to do that. Um, so, Today, my loves, is the parenting part two, okay? I'm going to try to get through these real quick. I don't want to be the on and on and on thing, but I believe step parenting is just so important. <clears throat> it's really hard to be a step parent, but it can work. And when it does, it's magic. It is just beautiful. Again, I believe this with all my heart. You can never have too much love. Never. So, I did some research and I got my psych books out and did all kinds of, you know me. Um, I'm glad I kept my college books. I really am. I mean, you, you know, and... Um, I ordered a few up-to-date ones because, you know, it's been a while since I've been in school and i got to keep up with the with the stuff. Um, <clears throat> uh, that sale before Christmas, um, one of the apps, I, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it, but a lot of you haven't. My girlfriend came over today, she never heard of it. She was like freaking out, going, oh my God, I'm going to buy this, this. I am going to put that in the description called groupon.com if when you put your zip code in they have trips getaways you 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 cannot believe how cheap so i will put that um, in the description and my website is up and running i will also put that in the description um, i got a couple blogs on there tell your story I, I'm ready for your stories. My blog, uh, you know, there's a place where you can put your story. And don't forget about Google Plus. I have two connections. Um, one, one public, one private. No one sees the private but me. Um, but if you don't care if it's private, YouTube, my Facebook group, my website, you name it, or Google+. Plus. Um, in fact, I'm going to put all the websites up in the description below. I think it's time we refresh them all and give them all again. Okay? So, step parenting. There is 11 guidelines to step parenting. How to create a blended family. The right way. Um, number one, 
discover how you can create a lasting bond. You, you got to work the kinks out and discover how this is going to work creatively. Creativity, you got to do some sharp thinking, boy. <laughs> Step on your feet. Get on your feet. Um, okay, we're going to start when the kids resist. And you have to change your parenting styles altogether um, because you weren't expecting it. Um, when you and your partner decide you're going to make this life together, I told you, first thing, you got to consider the children. First thing. And especially if you have a special needs child, whether it be emotional, um, physical, or mental. If you have a special needs child, that's all the more it, crucial. I mean, I cannot express it enough how crucial it is to sit down as parents and discuss and I'm talking both sets and maybe your ex has stepkids too all should be sat down uh, together blended there's a reason it's called blended um, you know you got to decide the rules um, Blended families take a very long time for everyone to feel comfortable. It just doesn't happen overnight. So if you're thinking you're going to go in there and just, oh, I'm just going to love them all and, and just, I'm going to be the best stepmom, stepdad ever. And I'm going to, and we're going to just, we're going to go to ball games and, you know, it, it that's great. Keep that thought keep that positivity because eventually those things are going to happen but right away mm -mm. no um you got to come up with a parenting style a set of rules that happen both mom and dad house you cannot flip flop well mom lets me do that well you're not at mom's you know you know that old well, I'm not your mother, and you're over here. You're not at. You're not. You're not home. You're not at your mom's. Um. So, you know, like I said, especially special needs children. You know, you take the time to talk to them, ask them what they think, and the parents got to back each other up on the rules, parenting, and you know what. A really good way of one of the tip tips and tricks dinner time I think it's the most important time of the day I think it is the time where the family begins the bonding the most include the children in making the dinner um, you know, set the, who set the table, you got forks, you got, you know, whatever, you know. Um, everybody has a job. Everybody's included. You discuss the day during dinner. You sit, relax. You don't worry about nothing else but talking to every one of the children and tell them about your day and guess what happened today? You know, tell them funny stories and, you know. Um, just make everybody feel as comfortable as you can. That's the key. Make everyone, everyone, you know, feel comfortable. And, well, and... If you have 
siblings that do not like the step siblings, you know, that that's you're, you're gonna come across that a, a little bit, um, because they're, they're like foreigners from another land coming in your house, you know, and the mom, stepmom may have had a whole you know, a whole nother way of style of parenting. That's why it's so important to discuss this before the marriage. Because you've got to agree on this shit. Sorry, God. So, you know, it, and it's going to become so frustrating when, oh, when the siblings don't like each other from the step and the bio. Oh. Um, but... Uh, you know, they got to accept the rules are changing. And when you make the rules, it's for both. You're, you're not, you know, no favoritism, no mine, yours, our, mm -mm, our children. Not mine, not yours, our children. Don't ever use the words mine and yours. Ever. It's just, it's horrible. What, what? Don't do it. Period. End of story. So, you got to avoid drastic changes. They've got to have some kind of structure that works for them, works for you. Now, you're going to have to play with it a little bit different schedules, different sports, depending on the ages, you're going to have to test here and there and, you know, but eventually you'll get it, but, you know, you just play with it, you know, change this slowly, slowly, um, it's not like, bam, okay, you're not doing this ever again. You can't play football. You can't, you know, just slowly, slowly change the rules. Um, a pegboard, big white pegboard or a, a erase board. Um, kids have to have responsibility. If you have entitled, they'll grow up to be entitled adults. They will be snotty, entitled children, and no one likes that. They have to learn that you've got to work for everything that you have and appreciate what you already do. Um, so, the rules are the rules. I believe they should have chores. Um, if you can give them allowance, great. If you can't afford it, it's not, uh, um, you know, it, it's not a, uh, a, a prize. This is your job. You live here. This is your home. You should be proud of it and take care of it. So, you know, but an allowance teaches them you work hard, you get rewarded. Who doesn't want to be rewarded? Just like us working, adults working. You know, especially we want to hear we do want a good job too, you know. So excuse me. Thank you. Um let's talk about falling in love with your partner's children. Learning to love them. Um you want to say that you instantly love them. Now, I love all children. Do I like all children? No. Some children are hard to like. So, that is going to take a few. So, don't feel like a piece of crap if you go in not loving them right away. Um, because it's not going to happen. 
it's just not. That That's just um, a fantasy if you think it is. We wished it did, but it's not going to. Um, however, you can and should, and you better, insist on respect from both sides. You know, they don't have to love you, they don't, you know, but they do have to respect you in your home. Um, rules are, you know, morals, just morals. You know, it, it, that's common parenting 101. Teach your kids morals, respect. Get up when an adult walks in the room. You know, don't, don't talk to your elders. You know, don't talk back to your elders. It, it, parenting 101, and, but if you need to know and have any questions what the rules should be or be taught, just shoot me a line. <sighs> Seek four ways to look for a life together as a family. Like, consider daily activities. Um, like, like I said, um, everybody plays a part in whatever you do. Um, I have a friend that um, they go out to dinner every Friday. Um, you know, they have step stepkids and they're getting married. And they don't cook on Fridays. Uh, they get the kids and that's that's just their routine. I think it's great. I think that's a, a they expect it, it's structure, it's fun. Something like that, you know, where it, it's structural, but it's fun. And again, like dinner, maybe dad sets the table and, you know, you know, you laugh and, you know, just have fun. Don't be uptight. Laughter, laughter, laughter. It's amazing what it'll do. It fixes things faster than anything. But include them. They have to feel included. I don't, you know, they may think, look at it as a chore, but really, after, they want to be included. They do. Um, and when everybody has a job, and you switch the jobs up, and so they can't. Well, I always have. You just. There's no rules. You go as you go. And you change them as you need to. When parenting changes, meaning the rules, like I said, like. I said you may have to change the rules you have to agree how both of you are going to parent you have to talk about it set the rules like I said big whiteboard big big whiteboard and everybody's name what day big calendar, whatever, and everybody has a chore every day, every day, okay, um, including, you have to include them, they're not going to like it, but it's going to teach them that they got to work for, for what they want out of life, and it's going to teach them how to respect, so, you guys got to back each other up. Can't can't say it enough because you set the rules and boundaries. If you don't stick to them, you're going to have total chaos. And they're going to, I told you, they're going to, ooh, they, 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 
figure out how to play one against the other so quickly and they look for that chance. Trust me, you've got to back each other up and agree on the rules. So, when the stepmom enforces the rules and dad comes home, dad, she, bit, 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 bit. isn't that the rule? Well, why are you, why, why, what's the problem then? They can't get away with it. You gotta back each other up. And they got to respect that step parent. They have to. Or you're not gonna, it's just not gonna work. And again, that this should all be done before the marriage. All this parenting stuff should have been talked about. How do you parent? What are your roles? Well, here's what mine are. Um, step, do not ever tolerate an ultimatum, ever. Um, situations where the partner or the kids put you in a dilemma to choose one or the other, no, you don't take that crap. And you calmly, how you react to it, is you calmly say, look, I work really hard at trying to make all of you happy. And I don't deserve this. And I'm not going to be put in the middle of something or pick or, or be forced to choose. And you just don't allow it. And, you know, you instead, you tell them how much you love them. And the end. You don't, you don't put up with ultimatums. Um, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't let me do this, I'm going to tell my dad, but um, you lied. And it happens all the time. Um, work, work, work towards making your blended family successful because it is work every day. And when I say work, I mean work. And when the families come together and the parenting skills were completely different, that's really hard. You got to come to some kind of middle ground. You're, you're going to have to change your parenting style, uh, change, um, you know, the way you do things and the rules and your both Steph and your children, they're going to be unhappy for a while, but you'll be surprised how quickly they get used to it. You know? Invest in a stable marriage. Everybody says, my kids come first, my kids come first. Ah, wrong. This is controversial and somebody's, a lot of people aren't going to like what I have to say, but no. God comes first. Kids come, marriage comes second, kids come third. If the marriage isn't solid, how are you supposed to have a successful blended family? A solid marriage is key. Because this is not going to be easy. And if your marriage isn't solid and you don't have complete trust and respect for the other, you're going to run into a little bit of trouble. And you're going to learn you better, you know, change. It's got to be a solid marriage. Um, it's hard enough. Uh, 
a successful blended family without, you know, hardship with the parents. Kids can't go through that again. They've just been through a divorce. So have you. Everybody's still, you know, that's why I say two years. Two years after a divorce. Because that's time to grieve. Get your single self back in the game and start to get to love yourself again and know yourself, you know? And when they see the parents mature and stable and solid, you know, one, it really does encourage them. And don't be afraid to show love and affection to each other in front of them. That's beautiful. There's nothing wrong with displays of affection. It's beautiful. Love is beautiful. Marriage is beautiful. Don't be afraid to hold, hold her hand. You know, don't be afraid to just hug her for one minute solid. Kiss her you know, for 10 seconds. And, you, ew, you know, the kids, it, it's beautiful. Love, marriage, it's beautiful. Don't be afraid to show the kids that. There's nothing wrong with that. I think it's beautiful. Oh, my nose. I have two dogs and a cat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! And... Again, you know, don't let, if they, if you're not a solid, you don't have a solid marriage, they're going to pit one against the other. So quick. So quick. And they're good at it too. And they'll lie straight to your face. I mean, look in your eyes and they will tell you a step parent said something totally lied <laughs> but if you do all these things and you keep the rules you don't change them you may have to adjust them but you don't change them include them Remember these tips and tricks, and if you want to know or a copy of them, I will gladly send you a copy. Uh, number, no, uh, number nine, again, figure out what to call each other. It may seem simple to say, oh, well, you know, but children really stress over that. They don't want to upset or they feel guilty if they call towards the mom. And it's not as simple as you think. They got, kids have a lot of emotion about what to call you. So you got to really just sit down and let them call you what they, what they want. Um, in the beginning, especially. Um, number 10. Learn to be civil. It's important that a blended family remain civil with each other. You're going to have your brawls. You're going to have your arguments. You're going to have your screaming, yelling. But they have to remain civil. Meaning... You don't go walking around the house like a big bully, you know? And that's just all teaching your kids respect. Um, you don't got to like me, but you got to love me. And you got to respect me. It's as simple as that. Number 11, show compassion to every member of the family. This is hard on everyone. But it can be a beautiful thing. 
So be empathetic and compassionate. Ask questions. How you doing? You know? Um, do you have a good day at school? Is there anything I can do to help you? Connect by being compassionate. You know, notice when they're acting different. Look for red flags. Well, told you, short and sweet. And um, there's more, but that, you know, depending on the ages, you got to adjust it. Toddlers, you know. So, thank you for listening. Um, I think I've covered everything, but if you have any questions, just let me know. Give me a shout out. And I'm going to get back to you on the giveaway when I talk to the uh, legal department. Until then, I love you. I pray for you. Um, my website is up. I'm giving you everything on the arrow down. Uh, subscribe, like, share. Because. We're all going to heal together. Your story will help me. My story will help Sally. Sally's story will help Jane. So, let's get the healing beginning. Let's get the chain going. Break them chains. Hey, how do we end? Peace. Love.